Setup for microwave power meter MPM26. Connect the SMPS at the back of instrument. The display will show that the instrument is warming up for one minute. Now in this one minute the electronic circuit is getting heated up and the sensor is reaching the noise floor of minus 30 dBm. Although the sensor is calibrated and all the calibration is kept inside the memory of power meter. As you can see this is the sensor here. This has got a K connector which is going till 26 gigahertz and this is a waveguide adapter. So for this microwave bench setup we will be connecting an X band waveguide adapter here. Now after one minute the TFT display lights up and it shows the power meter reading as low because it is not receiving any power from anywhere. So it is measuring a noise floor of minus 30 dBm which is shown as low. In bands you can see it is showing X band which is going from 8.2 to 12.4 gigahertz which is the measurement range in our waveguide setup. Then KU band, K band starting from L. Here basically when it displays L it is actually going from DC to uh, around 2 gigahertz though L is 1 to 2 gigahertz. This is for the convenience. S, C and X. So as you can see it is not giving any power right now. So with this setup as you can see we have disconnected the pin modulator here because we will be doing the CW measurement as this power meter is a continuous wave power meter. So we will connect the sensor here, make sure to tighten all the screws properly and to terminate the unterminated port and as you can see it is giving a power of around plus 5.8 dBm. This fluctuation of power will be reduced once we tighten all the screws. This, If we press this power meter button, you can see that the, there are different ranges. In power unit, when we press this power unit, it is showing around 21 different readings in dB amps, uh, dB micro volts. For example, if we take milliwatts and we go back, then it is showing a reading of plus 3.8 milliwatts. Similarly, there is a graph. So as you can see, it is showing the dBm reading very slowly. It is tracking the power and displaying it on a graph. So we will again keep the power as dBm. So we know 0 dBm is 1 milliwatt into 50 ohms. Similarly, there are different modes of power, average, peak, RMS. We are taking average power only. So this is a setup for microwave power meter.